This is the seasonal stock and ETF report for today, July 5th. Let's go to trade seasonal and click on start scanning. We're going to see our top Dow 30 algorithmically picked opportunities. Apple, 10 day Apple is at the top of the list. That is an opportunity. Sharp ratio of 1.73 for a 10 day opportunity is pretty good on Apple. Average profit was 3.09% with a standard deviation of 1.77. Cumulative return was 35.42% last 10 years. It made money 10 of 10 years. This is definitely an opportunity to consider for 10 days. It's between August 5th and August 15. Let's take a look at the seasonal chart. You can see it is catching a straight up uh, portion of the seasonality. Of course, Apple is good almost all the time. The only time Apple has even slightly a longer term negativity last 10 years is during September and it also has it during um, most of June. Most of June is slightly down and September is slightly down. Apple is straight up otherwise. Pretty good opportunity. Microsoft is still on the list. This is an investment opportunity. Microsoft is a great stock to keep long term and buy and hold. And this is why. The stock doesn't seem to have very vulnerable periods. It is just on a very consistent slope up. It slows down a little bit over here. And you could literally, if you don't want to hold it all year long, just buy it here and sell it there. with healthcare. It's also a great stock to hold longer term. What is McDonald's like? McDonald's has periods of down. You see over here? You don't want to be in here, but right now this is catching the pretty consistent up period. Arthur and Gamble, probably my favorite. This is where I like to hold Arthur and Gamble. This stock's to the average of 8.12%, um, mm, 133 days. Wait till June 16th. Great opportunity. Let's look at the next. Oh, here's the short one. Very good. It's another great opportunity in IBM. But it's on the downside. You see this major drop? This major drop is pretty consistent. It's been like a 9 out of the last 10 years. There's another short on the list. Disney. It's a little bit of a shorter. I mean, smaller sharp ratio of 0.77, but still it shows a very interesting period in Disney where the stock tends to go up. And it follows by a major move up starting middle of October for the rest of the year. That's when to hold Disney. And you see this one loss during a short. <clears throat> we can see what happens to our stats if we reduce the years to 9 and cut that last one out. So for the last 9 years, this short has been 9 out of 9 to a sharp ratio of 1.3. It's pretty good. But also, we have 59 years of data. 
how did it go overall? It's 58% profitable on the short side. Low sharp ratio. That's, it's just not very consistent, but it has been consistent the last nine years. Even 12 years. In the last 12 years is pretty good. It just has this one. Okay, let's look at NASDAQ. Apple's on the top of the list. Adobe and NVIDIA are still on there. Pretty good opportunities. NVIDIA, 42 days, 10.22%. Not bad. This is. Definitely a good one. ADP on a 10 day opportunity. Syntax on a 51 day opportunity, and so on. Let's look at Russell 1000 today. Nextra Energy is still on the top of the list. With a sharp ratio that seems to be increasing. And then Marsh and McLean are still on the top of the list. Second. Just look at ETFs. Same as before, the 7500 technology sector is on the list. We're pretty much still on the long side, but that will change in another month. That's it for today.